Once there was a chess competition organized for by a school for students of class 8. But the teachers were confused as to whom to send because class 8 had two sections, 8A and 8B. So the, either they could send a student from class 8A or a student from 8B. But the student must compulsorily know how to play chess. So now what to do? Whom to send? Now the teachers, they solve this using sets. Now let's see how can we represent it in sets. Say the students of class A, 8A, fall in the set of A. And the students of class 8B fall in the set of B. So either a student from 8A or 8B can participate. But the student must compulsorily know how to play chess. So say the students who know how to play chess, either from 8A or 8B, the students who know how to play chess are contained in the set C. So what do the teachers actually want? They want a student from 8A. Either he must know how to play chess or a student from 8B, even he must know how to play chess. So she actually wants this. You can say A intersection C or she wants B intersection C. Now if I look at it the other way, I can say that the teacher wants something like this, where she can send either the students falling in this intersection or in this one. Well, I cannot join both A and B. Why? Because they are disjoint sets. Remember what are disjoint sets? Which have no element in common. So here section A and section B. Both are different sections. No student can belong in both the sections. So these are disjoint sets. But they both have students who know how to play chess. So this is the set of students who can play chess. So either the teacher want a student from this part or a student from this part. So I can say that the teacher wants A union B intersection with C. Either a student should be from section A or section B and this or can be represented by union but it is compulsory that the student should know how to play chess. So this and chess is compulsory so intersection with C gave there their solution. So now you know that A union B intersection C represents what? Elements which are there in A or there in B but which are compulsorily present in C. Similarly, we are having a sum here. Here the universal set is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and I. These are the sum letters of the English alphabet. Now set A refers to A, E, C and D and B, that is set, set B refers to B, D, E and F. And we also have a set C here representing the letters A, E, F and G. Now similarly, find out A union B intersection C for me. Well, see, I have represented it on a Venn diagram for you. Your set A is this, set B is this, and set C is this one. Now, first of all, for finding out this, we have to first find out the bracket portion, A union B. So, looking at this Venn diagram, you can easily find out A union B. You can see we have colored A and B for you, that is green. So, all the letters falling in this green part represent A union B. Write down the letters. C, D, E, A, B and F. You can write them in any order, but the letters should not be repeated. Well, writing them in any order will give you the right answer. Now, we have to find out A union B intersection with C. Now, among these letters or these alphabets, which are those alphabets that are actually present in C also? See, these orange highlighted part shows us the letters which are there in A or in B or both, but are actually have to be present in C. So A, E and F 
are present in A or B, but are, are present in C. So I can write A, E, and F. So this gives me the answer for A union B intersection C. You will get various such kinds of combinations and using the Venn diagram, you can solve these out.